Each set of downs for the Falcons. On the pitch. Patterson bottled up. Cam Jordan came up to make the play. Yeah, so now they go unbalanced. Bring an offensive tackle to this side to get ready to run that way. On third down, it's Patterson. And he will not get there. Shy Tuttle. Handed off to Fournette, and he bumps into one tackle, and then the second ever doesn't do much better. Pete Werner was there initially. White. Oh, he gets swallowed up in the backfield. Cameron Jordan came right through. Oh, he's saying, we didn't sub, we didn't sub. They're trying to catch New Orleans in a personnel grouping. For these Carolina Panthers, dating back to last year, they haven't won a home game in more than a calendar year. Pressure coming for Baker. He gets out of one, but can't escape Marcus Davenport. On third and three. Saints rush four. They get to Cousins. Oh. Down he goes. Marcus Davenport finishes him off. Cam Jordan was there first. Here comes big Cam Jordan. Watch how quick and violent this is. Bam, knocks his hands down. Whew. Just round second base there to get to the quarterback right around the dish. And that's exactly what they needed. You see the change up in coverage right there, Kevin. Cook. Oh, drill. Oh, Camp Jordan. Oh. On third and five, they'll fake the give. The great play. But nowhere to go. Yes, you have to look back down inside. You're going to see him right here. Close it down. Hit him with your inside shoulder and make it bounce. Geno Smith needing two yards here. Pressure coming and he's taken down. Yes, There's Cam Jordan again. And he said, what number? What guy? Yeah, he I don't know anything meatless. about it. And I was like, of course you don't. <laughs> Every guy knows if you're playing against a rookie. And Cam came through big right there. Huh? Just a huge play right here. Smith escapes the pocket. Has nowhere to go. He's being pressured. And Cam Jordan takes him down to the ground. His second sack of the game. You're going to watch him at the top side. He comes, he's had to beat the back, which is Walker. He just gets rid of him like, get out of my way. And he just... Saints have been flagged five times. Third and 14. Murray protected well, but everybody's covered. And he goes down. Big sack back at the 11-yard line. Right tackle, Beecham does his job up front trying to keep Cam Jordan out. That is a coverage sack. You rush four, you got seven in coverage. Ingram is the back. Low snap. Oh, he gave it to him, but the snap was low. <laughs> Ten carries, 86 yards for Benjamin tonight. Through the middle to the four-yard line. Benjamin again. Second and seven. Going nowhere. They'll stop the clock here again. That's Ingram. It's a fake. Here they come up the middle, he dumps it off. He got it to the tight end, Moreau, but they're going to lose a couple on the play. And a couple were in there on the stop. That's on Derek Carr, and he flips that ball to Moreau. Moreau was actually in protection and was just an outlet. Second down, 18 for Carr. Jacobs with a block, a chip. Carr is being pressured there by Roach, and then doused and sat down the play, coming through Cameron Jordan. And they're back to the 31. Well, that's what happens when you take that sack early in the down. You're trying to push the ball down the field. There, there's a couple guys over. You see that ball comes loose. Carr's able to hang on to it. They do have three seconds to the clock. Not that it matters at this point. And Pickett's just going to duck down. Cameron Jordan will get credit for that. And that will take us to halftime with a tie score. Fake to Harris. Pick it under pressure. Incomplete. He was trying to get Zach Gentry, the big six foot eight tight end. Inside the 20 yard line, Debo Samuel in the backfield, tracked down by Cam Jordan. How happy are they to have Cam Jordan back after he missed last week with an orbital bone fracture? And overall, the offensive line hasn't been too bad. 
Brady underneath was under pressure. Rashad White, long way to go, balls out. Kicked forward by the Saints and recovered. It'll be another takeaway for this Saints defense. Knocked out by Cam Jordan. 12th year pro still playing. And the punch out. Second takeaway tonight by the Saints D. Second down and four. This one is batted into the air and incomplete Cam Jordan again. That's right. Good field position from the 38. Here's Cordero Patterson. And Atlanta's excellent run game get going. Cameron Jordan comes up with the tackle for loss. They have the coaching staff defensively. Dennis Allen was the coordinator, now he's the head coach. Third is short. This is Hunt going backwards. And that time the run defense up to the task. What a push for New Orleans. Huge stop. I mean, just watch this inside get penetration and create a wall where Hunt has nowhere to go. You get the pressure inside, you get edge pressure outside, not allowing him to get outside, and that's a big stop. <laughs> and against extra good run defenses those last couple of years in New Orleans. It's been shoe. Puts his foot in the ground and goes down. Cameron Jordan, longtime team captain, gets Minshew. And they have happened what you said couldn't, and that is another three and out. Got all three timeouts in 34 seconds with which to work. Gardner Minshew steps up and gets sacked. No time to throw as Cameron Jordan gets the sack. And here's the difference, right? You're getting the pressure, but there's nowhere for Gardner Minshew to go with the football. I mean, they are playing. New Orleans is a very aggressive defense. Eighth catch over 100 yards for Smith now. Back-to-back -back weeks. The fake. The pressure. The fumble. The sack. Cameron Jordan finishes it all off. You're down four. You're not bringing anybody extra. You got an off the ball guy coming in, Caden Ellis, but it's just the four total. It's a major run in this finale. It's a first and goal carry, and that's going nowhere. Cam Jordan loves the sack total, but he'll take a tackle for loss. As they move, do move their defensive linemen, they move them a lot, probably as much as anybody in the league. It's a handoff to the right, and Hubbard actually loses a yard.